everyone, um, I've got five things to talk about uh, on this clip from since a month ago. Uh, the first thing is I've been in my loft and I know Paul Nyman likes it when I go in my loft because I find all sorts of things. Um, I did find uh, this brochure from uh, the programme from the Retroglide. It's actually signed to my two sons just saying good to meet you. And inside both Gary and Mike also said um, to Joseph and Louis. And I found my backstage pass from that night. I uh, also found this um, one as well and there's some really really nice pictures in here um, from backstage, I really like that picture in particular and a couple more there but the most important thing on the, in here is this signature uh, which is obviously Alan's, Alan Holdsworth um, now oh, that's the second thing I wanted to talk about, the fact that obviously um, unfortunately he uh, passed away last Tuesday um, obviously I did meet Alan, um, my opinion of him was he was very, very much like Boone actually. Now I know the natural um, comparison is the fact he played guitar, he was tall, he was slim, um, but the impression I got from speaking to him is he was definitely a person that wasn't interested in the limelight at all. Um, I think he was quite content that if he turned up, played his guitar, did his bit and then could escape straight, straight after the gig, I'm sure he would love to. Um, there's been various tributes that I've read um, to him um, and it certainly seems that in America he was very widely uh, regarded. Um, Gary Husband's tribute, um, there's no doubt that the two of them were very, very good friends and obviously had played uh, music together for probably 20 years. Um, although it, uh, Gary did say that his uh, last few years were quite troubled, which um, obviously disappointing to hear that. Um, another member that I've actually had news on uh, of the group, or of, the, of the original group anyway, was Leroy Williams. Uh, thanks to uh, Monica, um, she believes he's actually in New York, currently playing with a jazz icon called Annie Ross, who, believe it or not, is 87 and still, still sings live uh, at concerts in New York. So um, I will uh, actually try and speak to somebody from High Tension, because I know they've been looking to try and find him, um, to do a reunion, uh, uh, I think, very shortly. Uh, the other things I've had, I've actually had direct correspondence from Jerry Pike. Now, he's actually seen all the clips, he's watched all the clips that I've done about Elite Records. Um, he's put me straight on a couple of bits of information. Um, first of all, there wasn't actually a studio um, behind the All Ears uh, record store in Harlesden. There was a sort of kitchen area and occasionally they would cram themselves in there just to sort of practice. But they actually padded out a garage round the corner and made that the studio. So basically the information here is that uh, the master tapes that obviously Paul Waller now has uh, were recorded in a garage. So how about that for a piece of information? Um, he also said the Elite logo that he drew that I did um, a bit about in my, one of my last clips uh, he drew that freehand while he was bored one day, um, actually in the record store, uh, and he'd got the idea from a PG Tips um, card. You know, uh, the cards that used to come with um, uh, the tea bags, etc. And he basically just re he made his own design from that. The other thing is the blue and white colours of the uh, album sleeve, or the 12-inch the, um, sleeve of Love Meeting Love, come from the football club uh, that they used to play in, that him and Andy Soika used to play in together, uh, being blue and yellow, and that was called Stanley Accrington. Not Accrington Stanley, Stanley Accrington. So, uh, Jerry, thank you very much indeed for supplying all that information, and I'm sure hopefully you guys will find that as interesting as I did. Now lastly, I'm going to mention Lee John of Imagination. Um, he was on my local radio station called Time FM, and while he was on, I rung the DJ that um, was interviewing him called Mark Dover, and he managed to get me a couple of things signed, um, which basically, when I do my next uh, auction of Level 42 stuff, I've got some other stuff signed by Shack Attack, and um, he's left me all of these to auction later on in the year. Um, and this one, he, this is his new EP. Now he's about to release a single on June the 9th uh, called Secrets. And you're probably wondering, well, what's all this got to do with Level 42? It's actually got a, quite a bit to do. Because on the album that he's going to release, he does a duet with Mike Lindup, 
which again, I'm not quite too sure how common knowledge that is. But as I said, that actually comes out on June the 9th. Um, and I, um, I said, again, I found that quite interesting info that I've managed to gather. That's it for this clip. Uh, thanks for watching and bye bye everybody. Bye bye.